Jennifer Beals uh, from uh, Flashdance and The L Word and all those other things, guest starring on The Mob Doctor as a former call girl turned madam mm. looking mm. to make a name for herself with the Chicago mob. Al, I respect traditions. I do. And I know that I need to earn my place at this table. So here you go. My little black book. Should any of you need me, I am here to help you. Umberto, two of you guys are being sentenced next week by Judge Marks. Or as I know him, page 57. Here's my girl. Here's my girl. Okay. You're, you're another one. You. Why do I suddenly? <laughs> I'm having really talk. What's that? What a Connor? Connor. Have you met Jennifer Beals? Hello. It's Connor Maynard. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice How to meet you. you. Yeah. You're my neighbors in the dressing room. Uh, yes. I'm yeah, right. we got serenaded. It was beautiful. Oh, amazing. Did, thank you. Did you leave a mess? So no. Huh? I didn't. I didn't try to clean his room. Okay. So Hi. Hello. Hello. So good to meet you. Hi. You're a nice vision. You. I love this. Come oh, sit, thank you. Sit. Now you you are really only about five nine. But you, <laughs> you went seven two on me just now. No. Yeah, I need to get shoes. some of those. Okay. Thanks. So short compared to everybody. They're fun. Always. They're fun. They're yeah. not very practical, but to walk from there to there, it's they're sitters. It's okay. Fine. Yes, they're it's sitters. Perfect. What do you want to ask her? I want to know what this <clears throat> connection is. He's She's been the only one who doesn't teasing know. me all morning. What the uh, well, I I um, babysat Steve's son, Greg. No. When she was I the babysitter. Was like, Stop. Wow. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yes. 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 That's so cool. She was the cutest babysitter. So <laughs> sometimes we say things like, "Oh, we go way back." Oh, I know. No, that. no, no. We you don't really go way back. back. Like we go. We go way back, and you know, I have a very specific memory that uh, we ran in the uh, Chicago Marathon, and uh, you and little Greggy. We're at the window waving as yes, we pass. Can, you don't right. remember that. I so do remember you that. You do remember that? Of course, that? because I had to make sure he was safe and that's happy right. and could see his father. You were very, you were such a responsible kid back then. You yes, still that's are. Changed. So you're just, uh, actually, yeah, that's changed. Yeah, that's changed. Yeah. You I'm were just backwards. like 12 or 13? Yes. Yes. Oh my yeah. goodness. We had the sweetest little boy. Really yeah. easy to babysit. Well, very we actually used boy. to hang around. It was a whole group of people yes. that, that hung around together right. back then. They had friends in those days. You don't believe it. They had friends. Uh, last time you were here, you were the commissioner of the Chicago Police Department, right? Right, right. The superintendent. The right. superintendent. Now, now you're the you bad are. Girl. Now I know. I'm on the other side of the law now. It's fun. You, you are a former uh, prostitute twerking. Prostitute. Oh, oh, call la, 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 la. <laughs> I, I, I almost said hooker. It would have been worse. No, oh, no. oh. No. Call girls. Wash she was my a mouth call up. girl that, that just pulled herself up by the, her stilettos. And the difference between a call girl and you have to call her. <laughs> <laughs> All right. She's a call girl and now she's a, an entrepreneur. Yes, she's yes, she's an entrepreneur. That's a nice she's running her own business. It. Yes, she's she's created the largest escort service. Escort service. In the Midwest. Okay. And in order to do that, you have to have some proximity to the mob. Right. Hello, so Jamie. so you're trying to get in closer to the mob Seamus or what has, what's happening? Well, here? I'm now with uh, Seamus O'Connell who runs the North Side. He's oh, the, the mob boss oh, yeah. of the North yeah. Side. Yes. And uh, he's a bit of a hypochondriac, won't leave the house. Mm -hmm. And so he sends me as his proxy to these sit downs. Oh. And so I am now positioning myself to be the mob boss yeah. of the North Side of Chicago. You are wow. actually moving in to take over. I am. Now, the, the mob doctor goes to his house to take care of him, right? She goes there. Yes. All right. What's your relationship to her? I never get to meet her. Okay. I don't meet her. Have you met the actress yet? Yes, I have, and okay. she's very, very sweet. But yes, unfortunately, we right. didn't get any scenes. My, uh, my character is completely on the other side of the law. She's just about mm -hmm. sex, violence, and money, and not in that order. Fun, fun, and fun <laughs> to play, I'm sure. <laughs> really, really fun and to And you play. really look the part. When I first saw this, I'm like, is this a scene from Real Housewives of New Jersey? Or is this right, the mob right, right. Well, I did actually look at... Um, uh, mob Wife Chicago a little bit uh -huh. to, to, to check get out the gals. They're actually yeah. saying something about your fingernails? What about your oh, fingernails? Oh gosh, I had these fantastic the fingernails that were, I don't have them now, I got yeah. them taken off because they were impossible to do anything with. But they're about out to there and they had little diamonds on them. There they are. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, oh I, yeah. That, I tweeted that picture out. So fabulous. Yeah. It that was really, so really much fun. fun. I can remember going, uh, I don't remember what year it was, about 1980 or so, 1981, 82, 83, seeing a movie called My Bodyguard. Right. So we're watching the movie in the movie theater, and suddenly there you are. And we're saying, is that, 
Is that, our, is that our babysitter <laughs> in a movie? <laughs> well, see, really that was pretty close to the age that I was babysitting too. It was, yeah. it was just a couple years. 14, yeah, it was 15. just a couple years right after that. So it was really. Right. But we had moved out here. Right. And it was really shocking for us to say, I wonder if she wants to be an actress. Who knew? I mean, right. who so how would you go yeah. from babysitter to actor? <laughs> well, I I was acting at the time, and I had I got an agent doing my bodyguard. Mm -hmm. Okay, and well, let's go back to Fiddler on the Roof. <laughs> oh, that's that's right. where you got the bug. Uh -huh. yeah. Oh, yeah. gosh, I guess so, probably. Yeah. Yes, actually okay. playing Hoddle. Like, I remember being on stage and all of a sudden um, actually feeling all these things and experiencing myself in a completely mm -hmm. different way that was not me. And it was so transformative and so kind of transcendent that I thought, this is really, well, really I could fun. Do that. Yeah, and how old were you then? Was that even high school? or? Yeah. I guess I would have been right at the beginning of high school. Mm -hmm. You know, I was reading where you were saying you are biracial. Yes. And that you, therefore, you were always sort of like a, on one side of the street and on the other at the same time. Always right, right. Slightly on the observed. circumference, yeah. always. I had no sense of that. I plead insensitivity <laughs> to when you were a kid. I never thought about, well, we all knew you were biracial, but nobody ever thought about it. But you were thinking about it, right? If I thought about it so often, I think I thought about it more in retrospect. Okay. And I think in terms of how I experienced myself, I notice more in my life um, the different confines that are put on me as a woman, much more than as put on me as somebody being biracial. Mm -hmm. That and, I notice more. And you can't help but uh, be an advocate. It's in your blood, right? You know, I went to Francis W. Parker in Chicago, yeah. and they did they not teach you to shut up. Yeah, we they were still, taught to use our voice. Still, yeah. <laughs> Good. You know, so. speaking of that, we have Cheryl Lee Ralph coming up. You know Cheryl Lee Ralph? I've never met her. Oh, well, she must have gone to the same school. because. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's always a pleasure to see you. Really lovely to see you. It's nice to nice meet you. you. Uh, was, Glad I know the it's, connection it's now. It's very hard for me to look at yeah, not see a little girl when I see you. You oh, understand that. I completely see okay, And I always you. want to cry when I'm with you. Like, it makes me so happy to see you. I won't stand up and make you feel short. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Mob Doctor airs tonight at 9 o'clock on Fox. Like maybe Casino Royale?